So I just switched to the iPhone 12 as my daily driver and if you know me, you know that I had to customize this phone as much as I could. So in today's video, here's how I customized my iPhone 12 running iOS 14. With that said, what's up guys, Anbuf here, welcome back to another brand new video and without any further ado, let's get started. Alright, first things first, to make things minimal, we are going to go ahead and uncheck all the home screens and just have one page. Now this really helps to keep things minimal and simple to follow. Now once that is done, you want to remove all the stock icons and widgets because we are going to add custom icons. Now to do this, just click and hold on any empty space or on any app to turn on what I like to call jiggle mode and once that is on, simply remove the apps and while removing them, select add to app library. Now this way the apps don't get deleted but the icons are all also removed from the home pages so that is basically the best case scenario and what we want now once you have a blank canvas it's time to change the wallpaper now for changing the wallpaper you can use an application called vellum which is a free wallpaper app that genuinely has some really high resolution aesthetic wallpapers now you can pick any wallpaper you want from any of the marvelous categories out there and click and download them to set them up now once you've selected a wallpaper and downloaded it go ahead and apply it to your home screen and you're good to go now for this tutorial I have picked this wallpaper which has some really brown tones from the autumn category and I really like the look of it. So once this is done, let's move on to the next step. Now we're talking about icons. Now yes, in theory you can go ahead and use any image or icon from you know Google searches to add as your custom icons and while some of the icon packs are paid and very expensive I might add, the one that I am using is called minimal icons and they either come in light themes or dark themes or both if you want to mix and match them which is what I have done here. Now these are paid packs however they're on the cheaper side I would say the dark and light theme cost six dollars respectively and about ten dollars if you purchase both of them together which is a pretty nice deal and what I got myself. Now I have searched across the internet for icons like these and honestly trust me this is the most affordable and the most minimal clean icon pack that I think that you guys should go for if you want this exact look but then again you can check them out from the link in the description below and in the end it's still your decision if you want to go for free icons just go for it but this is also an option all right now once you have your icons downloaded in your phone you need to install and open up the Siri shortcuts application and create new shortcuts for every app you create but hold up we all know that this causes the custom icons to first open up the shortcuts app and then proceed to open the app and to be very honest coming from Android for like seven eight years I did not really like this so I looked and scoured the internet to find a workaround where you can directly open custom icons to the application now to do this you have to download a plugin called icon themer directly on your iPhone from the link in the description below you guys don't have to worry it's completely safe and basically this is a plugin that works with within Siri shortcuts and using this you can theme the other icons directly to open up the applications. Now again it's not foolproof and 100% perfect because this method works fine for applications that are not your system apps for example Chrome, Instagram, basically any app that you download but does not work with the system apps like your dialer or your camera. So basically what I've done is customized my system apps using the normal shortcuts method and customized the others the downloadable ones using the icon themer plugin to directly open up these apps. All right, now, how do you actually use this icon themer? Well, to use icon themer, you basically have to install it inside Siri shortcuts as I have here. And once you've got it installed and up and running, all you have to do is click on it and wait for it to whether show an update or not. It doesn't really matter whether you update it, but the first thing that you wanna do is hit on the search in app store and basically type in the name of the application that you want to put the custom icon on. Now, in this case, I'm gonna select Instagram. And once you do that, just select Instagram, the app from there. And what you have to do after that is hit on the choose from files icon when it comes to you know select the kind of icon that you want to select for it now over here as you can see these are the images from the minimal dark theme and what basically I'm going to do is add images from the minimal light theme because I want a white Instagram icon so I'm going to look for where I have downloaded it go to light icons and basically select the one for Instagram now once you've selected the icon of your choice just tap on it and the icon will be applied labels can be useful for you but I like to go for a cleaner look so I'm just going to remove any 
any text from it and once that is done you just have to tap on the create my icons button then just hit on done and you know just follow a couple of steps and you'll be asked to install a profile once this profile is installed you'll have to go to your settings and basically install it from there and enter your passcode while doing it i know this is a lot to do just for a simple custom icon but this is the method that lets you open the app directly so i guess it is worth the little bit of hassle that it takes to do every single icon this way now basically all the apps that are your third party apps you want to add custom icons this way and now once you're done customizing all the icons as you can see the app opens up directly and now we'll proceed to do things the Siri shortcuts way to basically custom icon our stock applications. All right, now what we're doing is making icons using the shortcuts app. So click on the plus button inside Siri shortcuts, type in an action. This one is going to be open app. Then you have to choose the application that you want to do. Uh, for example, right now I'm gonna do the cameras and once that is done, all you have to do is hit on the next button and add a shortcut name. Now I'm gonna add camera here so that I remember what shortcut cut this is and your action has been added now once the action has been added all you have to do is tap on the add to home screen button and once that is done you have to select the home screen icon from this option and go to choose file or photo depending on where you've saved it for me i'm gonna go to file again go to the camera icon and put that as the icon for my camera application now once you have selected that once again you'll have an option to have an app label or not have an app label it's up to you i'm just going to remove it for a cleaner look and just hit on add and once that is done your shortcut will be added to home screen this one however does not work directly and you have to you know deal with this unless uh, i don't know apple gives support for third party icons directly but yeah that is pretty much it for the icons and now let's move on to the next step all right now once that is done we want to add some really nice widgets that complement the setup now again there are paid and free widgets alike but i really didn't want to pay for them and also i needed something really simple so I downloaded Widgetsmith, which is a relatively popular application when it comes to customizing iOS 14. And it's a free widget app that can help you add some clean date and time widgets. Now for me, I have added this small widget, which displays the day as well as the date, and you can place it anywhere around. And once you've added the widget of your choice, you can also arrange the icons the way you want to. Now what I have done is added a couple of icons from the dark theme, a couple of them from the light theme, and mixed and matched them to give it a little more punchier look and not keep it relatively as simple as it was and uh, yeah that is it that is my one page super clean minimal ios 14 home screen setup if you guys did like this video feel free to drop a like subscribe to the channel the links to all of these applications as well as the icon themer plugin and the siri shortcuts app will be in the description below be sure to check them out if you want to apply this look or go for this look on your own home screen setup and with that said this is anubhav signing out i'll catch you guys next time i really hope you guys are doing well and are staying safe with that said uh, peace out and have a great day